Hello, my name is Michael, and this is part three of the MeanStack RESTful API tutorial. In the second video, we learned how to import data into our index.html file from both the controller and the server. Now we're going to learn how to import data from MongoDB, which is an actual database, so that's pretty exciting. So let's get started now. Step number 24. We're going to now download and install MongoDB. The database that we're going to be using to store our contact list data is called MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database, which basically means that instead of storing its data in structured tables, it stores its data in JSON-like documents, which makes it nimbler and faster. To download MongoDB, let's go to mongodb.org, which I'm at right here, and we're going to click on the Download MongoDB button at the right. Um, so let's click on that right here. And let's, I'm going to click on the Windows 64-bit because that's what I'm using. And the download has begun right there. It's kind of a big file, so I might just skip ahead. And Okay, so now our file is finished downloading. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it to install it. And when I install it, I'm actually going to uh, install it directly into my C folder. And I'm just going to rename it Mongo because that's what I'm used to. But you can install it into whatever folder you want. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, this is just the way that I'm going to do it. So you can do it my way or you can do it your own way. So we're going to wait for this to open up. Preparing to install. Okay, so I'm going to click Next. So I'm going to click I accept and then I'm going to click Next. And I'm actually going to click on custom here so I can choose where I want to save it. And as you can see right now, it's being saved into the program files, MongoDB 2.6 standard. I'm actually going to change that to make it easier for me in the command prompt. So I'm actually going to change it to, I'm going to scroll up here to the C drive, save it into a folder called um, C slash Mongo. So that's where I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to click next here. So that's going to save it into directly into my C drive into a Mongo folder there. And so now I'm going to wait while it installs. Again, you can feel free to do what you want. I just find this to be easier for me. This is taking a bit, so I'm probably going to skip ahead while this is working. Um, I'm going to click yes here. Oh, I guess it won't take that long, so I won't skip at all. So now we just wait for it to install. Click Finish. Okay, so now MongoDB is now installed in our um, folder. Mine's at the bottom there, so if I back and forward, it'll be right there. And now, before we actually run MongoDB in our command prompt, we need to first create the folders where we're going to store the databases that we create. To do this, I'm going to create a folder directly in my C folder, C drive called data. I'm just directly in my C drive called data. This is the default. Um, path for the database. And then inside this data fo folder, I'm going to create another folder called DB. So Mongo needs, uh, MongoDB needs these two folders to run correctly. You can choose your own path and then set the path. I just find this to be easier for myself because then I don't need to change anything. All right, so now step 25. Now that we have these folders set up, we can now run MongoDB. To run MongoDB, let's open up a new command prompt by right-clicking our existing one and selecting, um, I'm just going to right-click here. I'm going to select git bash so that will open up a new one. So now I'm going to navigate to the folder where mongo.exe and mongod.exe are located. If you look um, back in this folder, if I click on mongo, it's actually going to be in the bin folder here. You see the um, mongo.exe and mongod.exe. So I want to navigate to this bin folder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type cd dot dot cd dot dot to get to the C folder and the cd mongo cd bin to get to that folder right there. And so after I've navigated to this folder, let's now type mongod to just start mongodb. So mongod, enter. And what we should see at the bottom is, we're right, just going to wait for a little bit. So now what we should see at the bottom, if we've done this correctly, it should say init and listen waiting for connections on port 27017. So that means that it's working correctly. Um, so now we've successfully downloaded 
installed and run MongoDB for the first time. Step number 26, we're now going to create some initial data for our contact list database. So now let's practice using MongoDB by creating some data for our contact list database. Uh, to do this, we're going to need to first open up yet another command prompt because we can't type anything in this one. So we need to open up a third one, one for a server, one for it to run and one to modify our database. Now again, let's navigate to our Mongo bin folder. So cd dot dot cd dot dot cd mongo cd bin. Now this time, let's type in mongo, which will open up the database that we can edit and modify. We should see um, this MongoDB shell version and then connecting to test. So this means that MongoDB is currently using a database called test. To view a list of all the databases we've created so far, we can type show DBs. So let me do that. And right now we don't really have any DBs or databases. Um, now let's switch our database to one called contact list by typing use contact list. And Mongo should respond with switched to DB contact list. Um, now let's practice creating an object for our new contact list database by typing this. So this is the format for adding a contact. So we're going to type in uh, db.contactlist.insert and then we're going to put a squiggly bracket in there and we're going to um, insert a contact name we'll just say name Tom comma email make sure the entries are in quotation marks Tom at test email dot com comma number this time will be um, 444 444 4444 close the bracket and the parentheses press enter and if we did this correctly we should see this right result um, and inserted one which means that this um, contact has been inserted into our database uh, so to view the object that we just inserted into our database we can type this so db dot contact list dot find and then two parentheses there so now there's our item that we entered in uh, this there's an ID that was added by Mongo to identify the entry so we don't need to do that at all name email uh, and number now that doesn't look very nice there's actually a way that we can view our object in a nicer or prettier format and that's going to be uh, if we type in db dot contact list dot find dot pretty enter and so now we can see it more nicely formatted we can kind of differentiate between the three different parts more easily so now before we end this step let's just add two more entries into our contact list database uh, just for practice so to insert more than one entry at once we're going to need to surround the squiggly brackets with square brackets which will represent an array so let's type this right here and type in db dot contact list dot insert uh, parentheses square bracket and then squiggly bracket there um, we'll name one our second person Tracy and then her email will be uh, Tracy at test email two dot com her number will be uh, five 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 um, we're gonna close that squiggly bracket comma a new squiggly bracket and this second uh, person we're gonna name uh, let's name him Tucker his email will be Tucker at test email 3.com his number will be uh, we'll skip the six so it'll be seven 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 and then we're going to close that squiggly bracket and then close the square bracket close the parentheses uh, I did something wrong here oh I accidentally put a close parentheses after the five here um, I just pressed up to get back here and so now we should see this n inserted two here I don't really know what the other things mean here and so that means that we've inserted our two new objects into our database. 
So now let's just test this by uh, typing in db dot contact list dot find uh, dot pretty. And now we can see all three of our people or contacts in our MongoDB database. So now we've learned the basics of how to use MongoDB. We're going to stop here for now for this video. In the next one, we're going to learn how to actually put this data into our contact list app. So that'll be really exciting. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you there.